This is my grandfather's 9N Ford. I just recently got, uh, he passed away, and I'm in the process of um, taking it apart and going to restore it. Uh, I've been wanting to make some videos for a long time, but I never have. Um, just finally starting to get around to maybe possibly putting some out. I'm into a lot of different uh, types of things that I enjoy uh, working on. Been doing some axe heads. Um, I like to hunt fish. Uh, that's one of my grandfather's fish that I actually just recently got as well that I'm probably going to have uh, redone uh, as far as the taxidermy. But just kind of wanted to give a starting video of where I at with taking this tractor apart there's some things i'm going to probably have to address it looks like the overflow tube on the radiators came loose the top of the radiators not holding the cap on anymore um, the starter is not engaging the flywheel as well i'm missing some teeth there i believe so probably going to have to I don't know, maybe split the tractor and go ahead and replace the flywheel and may possibly do the clutch at that time. I don't know if that's something I'm going to address right now or just um, wait until later. I can advance the the uh, engine a little bit and get it to actually engage the starter. It's not too terrible, but this is basically where I'm at with it. I'm going to have to replace both rear rims. Um, the... the Right side, I believe, I've been told they had calcium chloride inside of the tires, and I think that's what eats the rims out so badly. But both tires have got a lot of dry rot as well. Um, other than that, I think the tractor's actually in pretty good shape. Um, it runs. Uh, I pressure washed it, and I'm in the process of wire wheeling the, the frame right now and hopefully getting it back together. Uh, I was going to go back to the original gray scheme as far as the 9n from my research i think that's the way that 9n's came was a was a battleship gray or something like that uh, originally and then potentially as they were updated uh, through the ford dealer or whatever they they started to do what i think they consider to be the red belly scheme so this was the way that it was that my grandfather had it and i plan on putting it back to just the way that he had it um, so it's kind of where I'm at on it so hopefully get a little further on it along tonight um, and maybe do an updated video of kind of any problems I run into or things like that I, I don't plan on this isn't a full restoration I'm not gonna take this to any tractor pulls or anything like that um, probably mostly just use it exactly like he would have which was to use to get firewood and stuff out of the woods so uh, I appreciate you watching and thanks for your time